NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has raised concerns about the potential for China to assert territorial claims on the moon. So naturally, I don't want uh, China to get to the South Pole first with humans and then say, this is ours, stay out. Specifically focusing on the moon's South Pole, this area has garnered significant attention due to recent spacecraft observations revealing substantial deposits of water ice. Remarkably, these ice reserves are situated in regions that have never been touched by sunlight. The practical applications of this discovery are vast, as the extracted ice could serve as a resource for breathable air, potable water, and even rocket fuel for future space endeavors. If you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy and stay tuned for more thrilling videos in the future. To delve deeper into this intriguing prospect, NASA has laid out plans to dispatch a cutting-edge rover named Viper in 2024. This sophisticated rover is poised to embark on a journey of exploration, aiming to traverse the lunar surface and drill into its depths. Through these endeavors, Viper will systematically analyze samples painting a comprehensive picture of the distribution of water resources across the Moon's South Pole. By generating intricate maps of water concentrations, scientists hope to unlock the potential of these lunar ice reservoirs for various essential purposes. Contrasting the stark topography of the Moon's South Pole with the iconic site where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history in 1969, it's evident that these deep, shadowy craters offer a contrasting landscape. As we stand 50 years past the groundbreaking Apollo missions, the enduring legacy of President Kennedy's challenge still resonates. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This challenge, ignited in a time of fierce rivalry with the Soviet Union, spurred an unparalleled competition that shaped the trajectory of space exploration for generations to come. In the ever-evolving realm of space exploration, a fresh contender has emerged onto the scene. China's space program, shrouded in a cloak of secrecy, stands in stark contrast to the more transparent approach of NASA. While NASA often broadcasts live footage from the International Space Station, China's Tangong Space Station carries out spacewalks that remain concealed from public view until they have concluded. This enigmatic disposition is unsurprising given the stakes of prestige involved. Chinese officials may opt to keep failures under wraps to safeguard their reputation. The intertwining of China's space program with the People's Liberation Army is yet another factor contributing to the culture of secrecy. Protecting state interests has become a paramount concern, prompting officials to guard their developments closely. The United States, currently at the forefront of the space race, invested a staggering $62 billion in its space initiatives in 2022, a reported five-fold greater expenditure than China's. The satellite count reflects the disparity as well, with the U.S. boasting 4,500 satellites orbiting Earth compared to China's 600. However, China's rapid progress is apparent epitomized by the astonishing feat of constructing the Tango space station within just a year and a half a remarkable contrast to the 13-year endeavor that birthed the International Space Station, albeit the ISS being five times larger. Predictions from the Pentagon indicate that China is poised to overtake the U.S. and assume a dominant role in space exploration by 2045. Already, China has notched significant accomplishments, including launching its first astronaut, or taken out, into space in 2003. It achieved another milestone by becoming the first nation to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon's far side, and only the second country, following the U.S., to successfully operate a rover on Mars. Looking forward, China's ambitious target is to position astronauts near the moon's south pole by the year 2030. Amongst these developments, a compelling question emerges. Will the U.S. return to the moon before China accomplishes this feat? The Artemis program has charted a course for a crewed mission in late 2025, albeit the possibility of delays looms. The mission has selected SpaceX Starship for the undertaking, though the rocket is yet to complete a successful orbital flight. 
Its inaugural launch in April marked its trajectory across the Texan sky, followed by its descent into the Gulf of Mexico. Jim Bridenstine, NASA's associate administrator, voiced reservations about this selection. The envisioned journey to the moon revolves around the cooperation of Starship and Orion spacecraft. NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, is set to carry the Orion spacecraft from Earth's surface into orbit. The rendezvous occurs with the Starship, stationed in lunar orbit, where crew transfer from Orion to Starship for the lunar journey. Notably, Starship's design for lunar landing forebodes traditional fins due to the moon's sparse atmosphere. Upon completion of their mission, the crew transitions back to Orion, which remains in lunar orbit, for the return voyage to Earth. A tantalizing prospect emerges when considering an alternative scenario, one where SLS and Orion are rendered redundant. In this scenario, Starship takes on the role of a self-contained spacecraft. It departs Earth, connects with another Starship for refueling, and embarks on a lunar journey. This iteration of Starship retains its heat shield and flaps, ensuring a controlled and secure descent during re-entry onto Earth's surface. As the landscape of space exploration continues to evolve, the rivalry between nations drives innovation and audacious dreams, shaping the next chapter of our cosmic journey. China is currently in the process of developing its own rendition of the Starship, known as the Long March 9, although its completion is projected to be approximately a decade away. The Starship could potentially serve as NASA's pivotal tool in surging ahead of China's advancements in the realm of space exploration. The collaborative framework between NASA and SpaceX is a cornerstone of NASA's vast international network, boasting 169 partnerships that surpass China's affiliations with countries such as Russia, Iran, Pakistan, Thailand, and Turkey. The prospect of a collaborative effort between the United States and China remains improbable. In 2011, the Wolf Amendment was enacted by Congress, imposing a ban on NASA's collaboration with entities owned by the Chinese government. This prohibition stems from concerns over potential technological theft, the jeopardizing of national security, and apprehensions regarding human rights violations. Consequently, the trajectories of the U.S. and China in their pursuit of lunar exploration have diverged the prospect of them joining forces has been definitively excluded. Both countries are forging separate paths towards the moon, and the victor of this race stands to attain a substantial advantage, given that the moon is viewed as an indispensable stepping stone on the journey to Mars. The outcome of this competition carries profound implications. As the race unfolds, the stakes continue to escalate underscoring the high significance of achieving supremacy in space exploration. What do you think? Is China going to beat the U.S. in this space race? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.